A local woman, one of thousands of people in Michigan in jeopardy now of losing health insurance coverage now that the public health assistance given during the pandemic is coming to an end. She sat down with CBS News Detroit's Lauren Winfrey to share her story. It should be criminal. Uh, people who live in poverty have enough daily stresses. And now there's one more. The government estimates 15 million people across the country will be kicked off Medicaid. Valerie Blakely, a Detroiter, fears she could be one of them. I'm not sure that I'd even be able to pay my bills if I had to pay for health care. I wouldn't. You're talking about food off the table. Something Blakely hasn't had to consider for a while. During the first three years of the pandemic, Medicaid recipients weren't required to submit income information to prove eligibility. Blakely has five other people living in her home, three are children, and her husband is in need of medical care. Without Medicaid, she says her family would be strapped for cash. We wouldn't be able to make our ends meet at all. I would probably have to go get a third job. Proof of what you make in Michigan could be required again as early as July, and people who make too much to qualify will need to find coverage elsewhere. Blakely says the stress of waiting to find out is nearly insurmountable. Fight poverty, not the poor. Stop. <laughs> Stop and think about what you do to people, what your decisions do to people's everyday lives. Um, there's, there's certainly a better way. Reporting in Southfield, Lauren Winfrey, CBS News, Detroit.